The 2.6 livestream revealed two new artifact sets, Vermilion Hereafter and Echoes of an Offering. Both their two-piece set bonuses are an 18% attack increase, four-piece Vermilion gives additional attack after using your burst and then losing HP, and four-piece Echoes increases one normal attack by 70% of your attack that is RNG based. More RNG. Thanks, Hoyoverse. So who are good users of these two artifact sets? Disclaimer. This is speculation and I've probably missed out something, so please let me know in the comments down below if I did. Also, this is my opinion, so don't get angry if it disagrees with yours. Starting off with the two-piece set bonuses. Because both two-pieces give 18% attack bonus, this domain is really quite efficient to farm, especially if you need the 18% attack bonus. I would say this domain, as well as the Shimanawa domain, fully power creep the Gladiator two-piece, so when using the strong box, do not go for Gladiators anymore. For the 4-piece Vermilion, I think only Xiao can use the set really well, since its duration is perfect for Xiao, and Xiao is the only one who loses HP during his burst. In total, he would gain a maximum of 66% attack bonus from the artifacts alone, which is about 570 attack for a level 90 Xiao using Black Cliff Pole. This is further increased to 154% attack if we include an R5 Thrilling Tales user, a 4 Tenacity of Melodith user, and a 4 Noblesse user, giving Xiao just over 1300 more attack. TLDR, this is probably Xiao's new best in slot artifact set. However, for other characters, none of them work well. In some niche scenarios, you may be able to get corrosion and use your burst, but that interaction may or may not work. If it does work on someone like Noel or Ito, it is most definitely not as good as the four piece husk in this case. For the 4-piece Echoes, this might be Ayato's signature artifact set, but it seems to be pretty bad on other characters. Apart from Ayato, two other characters I think could use the set would be Yoimiya and Keqing. Yoimiya fires 7 arrows in about 3 seconds, or 0.4 seconds every arrow on average, so nearly all of her arrows should be able to proc the 4-piece bonus. However, because of the RNG nature of this set, I think on average, only every 2 or 3 shots will proc it, and that may be a DPS loss compared to 4 Shimanawas or 4 Rejoicing Bolide, though I I have not done thorough maths on it, and I could be wrong. For Keqing, if you're using the 4-piece Echoes on her, you should do the N4C combo to maximize on the 4-piece set bonus and preserve stamina. The 4-piece bonus should be able to proc at least twice per N4C, and there is only a 0.27% chance of it not proccing at all in one combo. So in conclusion, the domain is probably the second or third most valuable artifact domain to farm, and is great for Xiao, Yoimiya, Keqing, and Ayato mains. Once again, this is only speculative, and the real results may differ. Also, I will be making a Who Should You Wish For in 2.6 video, as well as a Venti vs Kazuha vs Sucrose video, so subscribe to not miss them. Anyway, that's the end of this video, like, sub, dislike, comment for the algorithm, and goodbye!